Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a brand new review, this time of Nova No. 1 from Marvel Now by Ramon Perez and Jeff Loveness. So after dying in the Thanos Imperative and then confirmed to have died to allow Star-Lord to escape in Original Sin, Richard Rider is finally back, having shown up on his mother's doorstep through mysterious means. He talks to his mom about his father having died in the intervening time between when he died and when he came back, and when his mother tries to console him, a zombie-like figure of her appears near him, showing that something's wrong. Meanwhile, in outer space, Sam Alexander, who up to this point had been the last Nova, is fighting off a swarm of Sidri on Ego the Living Planet, who had summoned him to help him because no one else would help Ego. Sam eventually solves the problem by grabbing a nearby asteroid and slamming it into Ego's surface to kill all the Sidri, but giving Ego a headache in the process. He then rushes back home to quickly have breakfast with his mom and sister before heading off to school. However, he forgets he wasn't wearing anything underneath his Nova uniform, so when he takes off his helmet near school, he ends up being in his underwear in public. Obviously an embarrassing situation, made worse by the fact that the new girl, who we find out's name is Lena, also happens by who he has a crush on. After borrowing the gym clothes of one of his friends, Sam goes to school and tries to talk to Lena, but ends up being interrupted by a heavy alarm coming from his Nova helmet. When he puts it on, it reveals to him that another Nova signature has been discovered, making him believe that it is his father, but we know at this point that the Nova that's returned is Richard Ryder. Meanwhile, Richie's on his childhood swing set thinking about the fact that he's always wanted to fly no matter how dangerous or how much he got hurt by it, and he summons his Nova helmet so that he can blast off for the first time since he's come back to Earth. While everything's going fine at first, eventually he feels a heavy pain and begins to crash land, and we see streams behind him of the Cancerverse, implying that it's behind his resurrection and will be what's behind the ongoing plots going forward. Overall, I really like this issue. It built up a really good dichotomy between Richie and Sam without even having the two meet up in this issue. Richie is obviously the veteran coming back and having to deal with his resurrection, having lost people in the past, and trying to move forward from everything that happened with him, and Sam is the younger, more relatable teen hero that still gets into goofy mishaps, but has a good heart and wants to do what's right. And both of them come across as very likable in this issue, so there's definitely something there for fans of either type of those stories. And hopefully, once the two of them meet, we can see them interact off of each other for one, but also we can have Richie go into a mentorship role with the one last Nova that we know of. Which does lead into the question of what happened to Richie's brother, who was alive after Richie's death, but hasn't been referenced since, and if Sam is the last Nova, then something must have happened to him, so hopefully they'll address what happened to Robbie Ryder in the future. Probably the biggest downside to the issue is the art, especially on faces. It kind of makes Sam look really old in the face, even though he has a younger body. But the backgrounds, especially in outer space, are nice, and it has good motion to it, so I can't say the art is all bad, just that on faces it could use some improvement. And we began and ended off with the Cancerverse setup for Richie, which will lead forward in the plot, and I am legitimately interested in where they're going to go with this. Overall, I give the issue a 9 out of 10. It was a really enjoyable read, and I look forward to seeing more from this series going forward. The art could use some improvement on faces, but it's nothing too distracting and it easily works for what they're trying to do. I recommend picking up this issue if you're a fan of either of the Novas, or just a general fan of superhero comics, either teenage heroes or veteran heroes, because it has a good mix of both. But until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out.